Hi everyone, my name is Abigail Cronin and I'm here to tell you about the small business contest that I had won through the Canadian Federation of Independent Business. I was one of the weekly winners that was drawn because I thanked a small business in the local area and with this winning they sent a prize from every province or territory and I'm just going to go through some of the prizes with you and uh, let you know what it was. All right, so the first prize I have is from Nova Scotia, and it is from the Tea Brewery. And so they sent me a whole package of different flavors of teas. And on their website, if you want to go check it out, I'll link it below. They have teapots and loose teas and a bunch of different teas that you can check out for the holiday season. So the next province that I received something from was from Newfoundland. And it's called The Side Shop, and they sent this really fun pink hat that says Fogtown on it as well as a pair of groovy socks, which are awesome. And on their website, they have clothing, skateboarding stuff, um, as well as hats and stuff like that. So I will link this shop down as well, and you can check it out. The third province that I got a prize from was from the Island Potato Soap Company, and they make bars of soap. I was sent two, of course, I've already used one, and I love it, super gentle on the skin, and I will link the website below, and you can check out some soap. The next prize is from New Brunswick, and it is from Bubbles and Bombs, and they sent me this massage salve, as well as a bar shampoo. So they have all things to do with scalp and massage and different treatments like that. So if you're into skincare and stuff, I would check out their website, and I'll have it linked below. From Manitoba, from Prairie's Prairie Oil and Vinegar, they sent over this really nice birch whiskey toffee syrup, which will go great on ice cream, as well as this six pack of oils and vinegar. They have rosemary, cranberry pear, herbs, honey garlic, mushroom and sage, and a pomegranate. So a bunch of different little fun oils that we can try out for cooking. And I will link it down below if you want to get some of your own. Over in Alberta, they sent over bear claws, which are salad claws, picking up things. And they're made out of this really nice birch wood. So if you have some time, if you check them out at the Kitchen Boutique, I will link their website below. And you can maybe get some for the holiday season. From the Yukon Territory, at Max Fireweed Books, they sent over this beautiful notebook that has Van Gogh's irises. It's beautifully depicted on the front and the back there of the notebook. So that's awesome. And they also sent over this beautiful canvas bag that also has Van Gogh's irises on it. Really nice size, super large with handles, perfect for carrying your new notebook. So I will link the description below. And if you're looking for any books for the holiday season, definitely go check out this store. From the Northwest Territories, Ice Blink sent over a thermos, a travel thermos. So they have really cool stuff there. They have soft clothing and they also have different things for massage and stuff like that. So a, kind of a variety of things there. So if you want to go check those out, I will link that website down below. From Quebec, at a shop called Quai des Boules, they sent over this beautiful soy blueberry candle, as well as a lavender pillow mist, which is awesome. So I'm going to link their store down below as well. And they do all things, natural soaps and uh, different products like that. So check them out if you get a minute. From Nunavut, at a shop called Capi Tiak, they sent over a medium and a dark roast bean. So there's two bags of coffee here, which I am super excited to try. So if you are a coffee fiend like I am, I would definitely go check out their website and support local to the shop. It's amazing product and I'm really excited for it. From British Columbia, the Warm Buddy Company has sent over this cute little stuffy, which is a black bear. And the cool thing is, it's not just a stuffed animal, but in the back, they have this little bean bag that you can warm up or you can put in the fridge and you can put it back in the bear 
close it up and you have a warm buddy or a cool buddy that you get to sleep with. So if you have any nieces, nephews, grandchildren or anything like that that would love a little stuffy like this for Christmas, I would definitely check it out and I will link the store below. What I got from Saskatchewan from Ed's Source of Adventure is this really small bag which if you open it up it actually turns into a 20 liter day bag so it's super convenient in this little pocket here and you can clip it on another bag and then use it whatever is convenient or keep it in your car which is awesome super portable and if you want to go check out some of his outdoor equipment he has he has a wide range of outdoor equipment you can check that out at the link below so the last thing I received was from a shop in Ontario called Bear Brook Game Meats and they sent over dark chocolate um, little caramels as well as this really beautiful green cooler which is really large and can fit a bunch of things in it um, and at their store they do farm to table meats. They are local and they're a super cool shop. If you're looking for any kind of meats or eggs for the holidays, definitely check out their shop and I will also link it down below. I just want to thank again the Canadian Federation of Independent Business for putting on this contest, for looking for local businesses to promote them. I really, really admire what they're doing. And if you do want to look at any of these shops, I will have all of them linked below and you can check anything out for Christmas gifts or birthday gifts, anything of that nature. It's, it's getting to that season at Christmas that uh, you might want to shop locally instead of maybe ordering something from Amazon. So definitely check it out. And again, thank you for the Canadian Federation of Independent Business for this amazing contest.